Hi there, Michelle Crafty Servings. Come on and say hi. We're going to do a Christmas in July craft tonight with just a few items. It, it doesn't take much, but it's going to make an adorable angel ornament. So I'm excited to do it. Um, I'm going to wait till people come on. I don't have my microphone on. It looks like Facebook has done something new. So you might be able to hear me without this. So um, I'm going to wait till a few people come on just so I can question if I need my microphone or not. Good evening, Kathy. So yeah, let me know if you can hear me really good. Okay, or if I sound farther in the background again, like I normally do if I'm not wearing my microphone. That honestly only changed probably about a year ago or a year and a half ago, and I really felt it was Facebook. And now they've got an enhancement that just popped up when I was trying to do it. So let me know if you can hear me okay. So, and, and that you're hearing me very loud and clear. It's really good. Oh, that's exciting. It let me actually preview it, and I thought it sounded really good. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate you passing me on. Okay, good. So it doesn't sound like I'm in the background, you know, because that's what it has sounded like for the last year and a half if I didn't wear my microphone. Hello, Leona. Hello, Vicki and Paula. Hi, Teresa. So I am making a really, really cute angel ornament. Uh, do you want to see it? Hello, Debbie. Thank you for passing me on. Hello, Cindy. So I'm glad that you can hear that you can hear me without my microphone now. Okay, awesome. So it was Facebook all this while for the last year and a half. Because I thought, you know, it was the same phone that I was using, and all of a sudden you could hardly hear me. And it sounded like everything on the other side of my phone was louder than what I was. Oh, awesome. And now that they, they posted tonight, just as I was going live, it asked about enhancing your sound and they gave me two settings and I set them both. I could do a preview and I saw, thought it sounded really loud. So, all right, let me show you the ornament I'm gonna make. Cute, and I'm gonna change it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little different, a little bit different decorations on it. But look at, isn't it cute? Isn't she cute? So we're gonna make her tonight. So I just played with her a little bit and I thought she turned out really, really cute. So she's she's easy. Do you like her? This is what we're gonna make. So give me some hearts if you like her and love that, right? Right, Carla? All right, thank you for the hearts. Okay, so, oh, I am so glad. So it has been Facebook, it has been. All right, thank you for the hearts. All right, should we see what we're going to use to make her? I'm going to turn her towards me so I can remember what I did. I just worked on her this afternoon. So, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Sandra. All right, so we've got, okay, so now when I, I do this, is that very low for you? I hope not. I mean, I was able to make some adjustments and I'm excited about that. Yes, your scarecrow is on the way, Linda. You wanna see what I cut today? It's so good to see it. Well, I'm glad you came on. I, it's late, it's late, it's 10 o'clock here and I'm just starting. Thank you, Carla, I appreciate it. I cut these today. These, these pine cones and there's like seven. So when you put them together, you can put them together. Let me just show you quick. You put them together, they, they got large, seven large, and they got seven small. I don't know if you can see, see them good. But you'd start, and I would have a base, like some kind of circle base, cardboard or something. Honestly, you could do this into a garland, but and then you put these on. I'm excited that I'm going to paint on these and just, just do some staining and highlighting. Isn't that cute? That was my project for today. All right, let's get the angel started. Hobby Lobby last year, <laughs> um, mini, mini tree cones, okay? You could use little styrofoam cones. You could use a bottle, like a little, little um, soda bottle, the little soda bottles, 
but then it wouldn't be an ornament. You could do this as a shelf sitter, just like she sits sits on here. Hello, Becky. You bought a scroll saw. Is that what's it? Oh, awesome, Carla. So, um, yeah, the pine cones are really cute. I, I think they are too. So I'm anxious to stain them and just shade on them is all I'm going to do with them. Um, and then I'll probably put them into something. So these, you could use, like I said, you could use these, you could use the styrofoam ones. If you use the styrofoam ones, I would recommend you to painting on them or covering them maybe with some burlap or whatever kind of fabric you would like, because you might see some of this um, with what I'm doing, you're not gonna see it. And then, like I said, you do a bottle. If you don't want it as an ornament, you could use a little soda bottle, you know, your little shorty soda bottles do that i mean it, it's really unlimited what you could use and all the different colors you can use so we're going to use one of these and we're just making their sweet little little angel all right i'll show you everything that i'm using first off so we're using using this we're going to use one of these half beads i, I use them as you know and look at this so i showed uh, i showed you at the beginning and some of you didn't see so if you're you're late lisa yes you caught me live you know what if you don't put a face on her you could have this almost as a gnome okay you could do the same you you could do this as a gnome too but so i'm using one of these this is an inch and a half or no a one inch split ball one inch split ball for this size, there's other things you can use also. You can use just a round disc, um, just something, you know, maybe a styrofoam ball and you cover it, you know, but this is so easy just to make the face on it. I am late, Debbie, tonight and no work tomorrow. I haven't worked all week. So you do you work tomorrow, Debbie? Are you saying you don't? You're on late tonight, no work tomorrow. Yeah, no work. I'm off all week excited my grandson's um graduation party is saturday so we're hoping tomorrow we're actually setting up and cooking and um things like that all right so this is what we're using i've got some of this little baby yarn just baby yarn um you could use other things you could use raffia you could use jute um whatever you would like this is so soft and and skinny we're using that we're using this wired ribbon. I got this at uh, Kirk, oh, it says Kirkland's, but for some reason, I think I got it like at Costco last year. I think I got it at Costco last year or someplace like that. I haven't been in a Kirkland's for quite a while, so I really don't think that it was Kirkland's that I got this from, but um, wired, it's got, this has the black trim. It doesn't have to have the black trim, um, it actually, you can see it on the hat. Um, you can see the black trim on the hat though. That's sort of cute. Um, now that I just think about it is you could add maybe a little ribbon on that to make it cute. So we're using that. We're using some jute. We're using raffia. I've got that down there. Of course, we got to use a button. Now I'm going to change it up. I use the jute. I keep knocking them over. I use the jute for the bow. Um, I'm going to, I think, use this green and taupe for the bowl. I also have a red up here that if you want to really make it look Christmassy and festive, you could use like a red like this. Um, and then the flowers I used earlier were yellow. I think I'm gonna add the white flowers instead. So that's really all there is for supplies. It was also at Sam C. Okay, and you know what? Maybe it could have been a Sam, it could have been, um, yeah, well, Costco is, is part of Sam's Club, I believe. So, all right, we're gonna put that aside. Let's just start on the ribbon. So I've got my trusty ruler here and I did six and a half inch. It's okay if you're late. I'm just starting, Norma. I am just starting, but you missed what I'm making. Um, I'm gonna get a bigger scissor. My scissors are both dolls. So when I'm trimming in between, I, I need to clean them. There's something sticky on it. Um, I've got a little one to finish trimming. So I'm doing six and a half 
inch strip. So if you go seven, it's fine too. What you want to do, if you have a different, um, different size, I just want it to get to the bottom. And honestly, when you put it on, it's going to um, come up. Now I'm going to cut five of them. I might, I, I don't remember if I, if, how many I need, but we'll see as we go, okay? Well, the red sh does remind you of a picnic, right? All right, that right, I'm gonna just be cutting it from here because I wanna make sure they're all, I want them all pretty even. Now this, this ribbon, and I say it's burlap ribbon, um, it honestly, it, it feels almost like it's a little bit of like your, your vinyl or kind of plastic. Um, but it looks like burlap, right? And burlap, and it, and it, it sort of shreds a little like burlap. Um, all right, let's do this. This one is a little shorter. One of mine are a little shorter. This one was, we're gonna take that out. What are the pine cones for? They're just for, um, they're in a kit that I cut today. I'm, um, you know, I thought they would be really, really cute in a garland. They'd be really cute to put together on a wreath. Like this would make about a nine inch. You would almost need two sets to do a larger one. Um, you could do them as ornaments. They would be really cute if you do like a rustic tree. Uh, they'd be really cute as ornaments um, or like a fall tree. I have those other little, they're little leaves that I put in a kit the other day. I, I don't know there's any of them left but um somebody gave me the idea for those little leaves uh they said you could use them in those little gumball machines you know where where they paint them and decorate them all right that's really all we need of that ribbon well it might not irritate you like real burlap you're right carla you're right so and i'm only using a little jute which i got here um, you're right. It's like I said, it's more plasticky. Okay. Now I've got them almost like at seven inch, <laughs> which it's fine. It's fine. Seven inch. That one's a little closer. All right. I'm just going to put that down for now because we're going to possibly measure. I thought there was something else I measured and we'll see. Okay. So for this, we're going to cut off these edges. Um, I don't want the wire edges on this part. I'm just using a little baby scissor. Maybe I can use the big scissor and do it. Is it necessarily working before? Yeah. I need to clean it. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, because there's something that got on my scissor. I've got a glass, a lens wipe here. Don't ask me why. I had a lens wipe here. Let me see if I can't clean that and then I can cut better. We'll see. I have no idea what is on here. We'll try that. Okay. And you know, you could save this wire for something else if you want. No, it didn't help. <laughs> Make sure when you're coming on, let me know where you're from. You know, I saw somebody else, and I wish I could think of who it was today. It was somebody in Crafter on the Clock. If you don't know about Crafter on the Clock, um, I am a creator in there also. So I have not done, or I've done a couple lives where I shared into them um, just in a week where there weren't people scheduled. I have not been in there on a schedule. There were two times when I did schedule and I had to cancel um, because of working because of my mom. Um, my mom always comes first, family comes first. So I had to cancel and I hate doing that. Um, so it was somebody on there today that has a map of the United States with all the different states 
And when somebody purchases from her Etsy shop, they she marks it on a map. And when she fills her map with every state, she does a big drawing for something. So I think I'm going to do that. I think that is the coolest idea. And I just love the idea of people from all over the place. And I've got a couple of people from Canada who buy too. All right, so let's just do, I think we'll do five. Well, let's cut six just in case we need them. We're in Florida, Bacurling, Indiana. Oh, how fun. You're visiting family. I, um, my niece was just home when I actually leaves tomorrow. I think my niece and her husband and daughter uh, are from Tampa and they were up visiting. All right, so now I've got this and let me should tell you the width of this ribbon. This ribbon is two and a half inches wide and I'm going to cut it in four. So I'm gonna cut it up the middle and I'm just eyeballing it. Cut it up the middle and then cut it up the middle again. And that creates our strips. And don't limit it to just this kind of ribbon. I actually had a blue one, a blue with black running through of a burlap ribbon. That would be so pretty doing this. You could do any kind of ribbon. You don't have to have a wide ribbon. You can already buy a ribbon that is the width you need and just use a lot of them. So just cut it into the lengths that you need. Like I said, I cut these. I thought I cut them at six and a half, but I think most of them got to seven. Oh, thank you, Carla. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Sue. I don't even know where I got it from, but this was actually my painting tonight. I want to paint even more. I love painting. I love painting. I want, there's so many things I want to paint. <laughs> and I really would like to do more of that, but I do want to do some of this too, because I love this too. All right, now I'm just cutting. Like I said, I mean, I need all of these but I'll need most of them. Make sure my glue gun is plugged in because that is your most important tool here is your glue utensil. Hello, Joyce. Hi, Chris. All right, and like I said, just, I'm just cutting up the middle and then cutting it in half again. And that gives you pretty even strips. So yeah, I don't know, was that you, Carla, before that said that because of the type of burlap this is, it's not going to, it's it's not going to affect me. And you're right, because I made the sample angel before and I didn't get all itchy or anything. So you're right. Like I said, this is to me is more like your almost like you know, what do you call it? Your your wider strips. Um that you do in wreaths. Oh, I put them on my I put it on my tree too. It's almost like that, only more tight woven. I can't think of that. What is the name of those? Hello, Terry. So putting some fabric. Oh, that would work too, Carla. Absolutely. And like I said you don't have to cut ribbon. You can get ribbon. You could honestly do it like with this ribbon. But it would take a lot of this. I would do I would do a little bit wider ribbon, um, a little bit wider ribbon. Okay, I think this is the last one I'm going to cut. Well, actually, yeah, it's the last one because it is the last one. I meant of the wide strip. I might as well just cut them. I don't think I need all of them. We'll see. But that way, I have them. This is like the synthetic burlap. All right, and we got our cone. And we're gonna get our glue utensil up here. Now I, I do have it set to low temp just because I don't wanna burn myself. 
Thank you for passing me on, Sue. I appreciate it. All right, so we're just going to start, just put a little bit, probably, you know, pretty close to the top. Just put a little bit there, lay it down, and I am using the low temp. So I won't burn myself as much. So otherwise get out your, um, your little spatulas that you need. Okay, and I'm gonna just shift it down a little bit. I like this to come almost to the bottom like that. And then I'm gonna do right next to that again. And that was a little warm. I mean, I have so many strings because of this low tone. It's crazy how many I'm going to have. All right, but it is what it is. All right, and then we're going to put, now this will shift, this shifts a little as you're trying to do it. See the start of it? I said, if you're using regular, um, the high temp, um, you have to get a spatula or get those rubber fingers out because you will burn yourself and you don't want to do that. Low temp gives you all these cool little strings, but it's okay. Oh, I thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So every once in a while, I'm going to have to clear the way. Okay. So you see how it's all right next to each other on there. And depending upon the size that you have, it's coming up a little, um, you may need to do four right around, but I've got it all right next to each other. What are you making? Cece. I'm making her. I'm making an ornament. Isn't she cute? I'm going to add a little bit of color in her, a little more color in. Do you like her? Do you like? All right. So now in between, um, like in between there, I can't. <laughs> right in between in between the two is where I'm going to do my next one. So I'm just going to put the glue there. The one is coming up a little, it'll go back down with this. And I said, if you're using high temp, you need something to protect your fingers. Do you like her? I'm glad, Debbie. All right, and then we're gonna do that all the way around again. We're gonna, so in between the these two there. One in there. And then just put a little more glue on top and bring it up. Some of them might fray, that's okay. All right, so between these two here now again, and you'll see we're just making layers and because of the size of the cone that I'm using, um, it's actually working out where I just have three to make it all the way around. What? <laughs> I can't think what happened to my thumbnail. That's actually a funny story. So, I don't go for pedicures often, but 
I decided I was going to treat myself and I did it a couple months ago. Otherwise I didn't all last year, but I, I love them. I just, I just like to save the money. Um, the cone is Hobby Lobby. A six pack of these last year from Hobby Lobby, $4.99. I'm sure I got them on sale. You could use a styrofoam cone. Cone. I'm making this into an ornament, but if you want it as a shelf sitter, you could use a little shorty soda bottle or something like that. If you use a styrofoam cone, you're going to want to paint it or cover it, okay? I didn't have to do anything to this. Okay, so anyhow, when I pick up my collar to what I want on my toes, I practice on my, I practice on my nails, <laughs> on my nails. So, because I don't get, I don't get a manicure, I can do that. Um, that's where I practice. So, um, so those are, those are my color options that I had decided. The last time when I went in, um, she talked me into a, a brighter color than what I wanted. She told me that I was boring when I, when I picked up pink, she told me I was boring. All right. So I'm going to try and get it like, so that it's right in between here. Okay. So that color finally, I mean, it was to a point it had to come off. And um, so I picked my own color today and, and she liked it. <laughs> she didn't tell me I was boring. <laughs> so, and you know, you can't understand some of, the, some of them who work on you. And I could understand her clearly. <laughs> I'm boring. You make your own comb? I did not, but you could. You absolutely could. Um, yeah, use that with cardboard. That's a great idea too. All right, so I'm I'm putting it in between. Now I'm gonna put it in between this one. Keep working your way around till it's full enough, till it's as full as what you would like it. Absolutely, you could do a larger one. Absolutely. I think this size is perfect for an ornament. But if you're going to do a shelf sitter and you want larger, oh, yes, definitely. You can make your own. Like I said, you could you could definitely use even a bottle. I have a shorty, shorty like little soda bottle over there. You could use that. You could, you could probably even use this. Um, you'd have to be a little more creative. Um, you could use a peat pot, upside, upside down peat pot. There's a lot of different things you could do, but you could definitely make your own. All right, let's get in between again. I'm just looking and trying to get in between each one. And that's layering it up. Oh, nope, I didn't bruise it. <laughs> Thank you for caring. <laughs> no. It was just my experiments. All right, almost done. You want enough layers, though, to make her nice and full. Not that they are sort of straight like that. Okay, oh, so we gotta go around a little more yet. I'm gonna put one in between here. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I'm just, just building these layers. And each one is coming down in between another one. And we cut this all from a two and a half inch width wired ribbon. And it doesn't need to be wired because we cut the wire off. You can use whatever color you want. You can use regular burlap if you want. Now see the big space in there? That's gonna be covered. Can't do that. And all of this glue up on top is gonna to be covered too. This is the messiest part with the glue. And she, she's looking cute. She's filling out. It's a little crooked. All 
If they start shifting a little, I like them nice and straight. Now, another way you could do it, which might give a little cuteness, is if you put it on You can maybe give it a twist and do it like that, but um, it, it would take more to fill in than I think if you give it that twist. All right, it's starting to get filled in. Almost done. As you do it, <laughs> all the glue all over me. Um, you can see where it needs to be filled in. You just keep adding, adding one in. Again, you won't see this top if you're hopping on late. Just the warning to make sure you use low temp when you're doing this, or use a spatula. Oh, they would be so cute as gifts, Lisa. Absolutely. Yes, they would be cute on packages. Um, okay, we've got a few more places to do, I think. Get all our glue strings. Like I said, when you use low temp, it's messy because you get the glue strings, but um, it's worth saving your fingers. <laughs> And this is where I said, if you don't have the cardboard, but there's, you can make your own, absolutely make your own little cardboard cones. But um, otherwise, if you use a styrofoam, if you have your little styrofoam trees, uh, you just would want to cover, cover that first. Another one, we might be done. Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate that. All right. That's pretty full. I'll add one more in here. You could probably just keep on going to be as full as what you'd like. But you really don't want it to be lopsided. Okay, I think we're, we're pretty good here. Because this is going to press down some too as we make her, so this looks pretty good. So I probably used about, um, let's see, two, three, four. I cut six strips of this two and a half inch ribbon. Um, you, you might be able to get away with four of them because it looked, I have eight left. And that's pretty good. I'm just going to try to get some of this glue out of the way. Clean up a little of my mess here. All right. Okay. Let's go to the next part. So <laughs> I get this glue off to work on the next part. We're going to do some hair. We're going to, I'll show you how easy the face is to do. Okay, let's get this off. Okay. So we're going to set that aside. So for the hair, I'm using this. Um, this is baby yarn. It's so fine and soft. I'm also, 
this is from Magnolia. If you're interested, let me know. It, you know how to make tassels, though. It's the tassel maker. It does have your different measurements, and I do love using it. Um, I'm going to use this one. And all I'm going to do is just wrap it. Now, I'm going to be counting because I think I did 60 of them because it's so fine. I really needed a lot, a, a lot. So I'm going to sit here and count. Um, why don't you guys all tell me on here um, while I'm doing this? Are, are you doing any Christmas crafts? Say yes or no or what you are. One, two. All right, that's 10. I'm gonna do 60 of them. <laughs> nobody doing Christmas crafts? Nobody wants to tell me what they're doing? It's 20. Oh, Sue, that's awesome. So you're already working on them. Well, see, now this is something y'all can do. Okay, this is 30. Thank you, Joyce. Yeah, I'll just start. Well, some of you are doing Christmas then. Yep, write them down, Kathy. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 50. Oh, grubby candles. That sounds cool. You know, Sandra, before I started this page, I'm with you where I don't, didn't do my Christmas crafts early at all. Um, I, I couldn't before I started this page, but now I have to, I almost. All right, I'm doing probably more than 60. I'm on a good head of hair. So, and this is such fine yarn. Oh, the burp bunny. Okay, and I'm just going to slide this under here. Oh, slide it under, there it is. And then I'm going to tie it off up on here. Now you could do it where you're doing it across these and then you just tie it through here, if you know what I mean. That's that's what it's meant for, but I'm doing it. Going to tie it nice and tight. it. And I'll just slide it off. Okay. And we're gonna just stretch it down. So now we're, we're basically making a tassel. Only we're not tying this on top to make it more of a tassel. All right, let's just turn those off. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. All right, that's all we need for that for right now. We might need to tie with that. Okay, so this. Oh, I have another one. It's going to be the hair. All right, you see that? It's gonna be the cute hair, so we'll fluff it out as we need it. We're going to need this for the bow. Now, basically, we're just putting all these little steps together now. All right, so um, let's do the face. I'm using a one-inch split ball. Um, let's see. One-inch split ball that has a whole bunch of glue on also. Easy, easy face. Get your makeup out. Nice and pink. I 
don't put faces on angels. And some don't. Yeah, some don't. And this is a real easy face. A very easy face. That's the cool stenciled signs you're starting. Yes. Kathy's saying on there, please share your creations. Go into Crafty Servings Crafting Club. Kathy is actually my moderator in there, and she loves seeing your creations. I try and get in on there. Um, she, she loves seeing them, and we all do, and it's for inspiration. So please, Crafty Servings Crafting Club. It's a free group. Go post your inspirations in there, okay? All right, so... This is, um, let's see, I'm just looking. There's a little mar on there. Let's, we'll do that at the bottom. So I'm just using makeup with a Q-tip. Nice, big, rosy cheeks. And a permanent marker. And I'm just going to do two little lines for the eyes. That's all I'm doing. Now those lines are spreading out just because I could see the mar on the, but it's still cute. It, it's actually spreading because I could see that there were marks with the wood, but it's still, it's cute. That's her face. So we got her face, we got her hair. Let's do her wings. Uh -huh. I'm going to get the raffia out. We're going to do her wings now. Can I mention another craft site on here? Go ahead, Cheryl. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just pull out some of these. We're making the wings out of this raffia. Yeah, you can do, you can even use that ribbon that we use for doing um, the body. You can even use that ribbon if you want. Just make it into a bowl. Okay, that's a short one. Let's see if that'll work. That's pretty much still pretty good. See, honestly, the marker, it just depends upon what would you do it on. This one, it did not because it was nice and smooth. It did not do it on that piece. I saw it when I pulled it out when I was looking at that. I might even do a new one because it, it really spread a little bit. I'd rather it not spread, so we might do a new face. Just because I'm not huge. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a piece of this yarn out again. That's gonna be my tie. I'm gonna take this out again. So full of burlap. Thank you, Vicki. All right, and I'm gonna separate out this raffia after we get this made into a bowl. So I'm just gonna take this this tall one now and wrap it around all the way. You can make your bows this way. That's really all, you yeah, know, that's pretty all I want. String our bow right, our ribbon right through there or our string. And tie it off again. So whatever way you want to make a bow. I usually make the bows on my hands, but this is a little bit wider than what my hand would be. Hello, Nana. How are you? I'm glad you caught me live too. All right. Oh, you know what? I messed up on this. No, we can't do that. Can't do that. We have to put it all together. It's like wrapping it. <laughs> I need to put it all together. Duh. Duh. Kind of a piece of string over here. I can't just do one part of it. I could have still done it on here, but you have to wrap it around that whole thing. Either way. 
So we're just getting all these pieces together and then we're gonna put this cute angel together. Oh, we gotta do the hat, yeah, too. All right, so I don't want all these extra. We're gonna turn that off. Turn that off. And then I'm gonna separate out this these pieces of raffia. Just it's gonna make a fuller wings for the angel. If you have fine raffia, you know, then you wouldn't need to do this, but mine is not. Just spread that apart. And that's just gonna make fuller wings. See that, the difference? I mean, I can fan this out, but it isn't going to do much. You know, just take your fingernail, get that started as separating and separate them out. Oh, it's Ruthie. Okay, Ruthie, hello. I will try to remember that. I'm so awful with names, so terrible. Hello, Ruthie. Ruthie, do you come on here a lot? Are you a Ruthie that I know? There's a Ruthie I'm thinking of that I know crafts a lot. Hi, Sherry, how are you? Hello, Brenda. Well, it's good seeing the two of you too. Y'all, when you have pages, please drop your page. I don't mind when you do that on here. All right, Ruthie, I, th I know who you are then. I think I know who you are. All right, let's really separate that out. Okay, let's trim up. We don't need that yarn hanging down anymore. So we're just finalizing putting all these little pieces. I'm gonna trim up because I really don't need any of these tails. Because these are wings. I don't need the, the tails on the wings. All right. Now I'm gonna do another one of these because I don't like how that bled. This is a nice smooth one. That's a nice smooth one. So I'm using the one inch half um, half circle. And I did this one, but it, I could see that it was really marred in the middle here and that that would bleed, uh, when I use the marker, this one, won't. this one is nice and smooth. Um, let's see, do it down here. Big cheeks, just using blush. Oh, I can see there's a little mar on this one too. That's all right. And we're not going to redo this one. I can actually see it on here now too. I should have done it side. I should have done it the other way. That's right. There's Sherry. I appreciate you too. You know I do, girl. All right. And so let's just do... That's better. Now I just made it wide myself. Oh goodness. Goodness, goodness. I just meant to do a line. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay, we got that and that. Now we gotta do the hat yet. Okay, we've got this. The hat is going to be easy. I wonder if I could use this piece. I probably can. All right, so the hat, all I'm going to do is just start it already, just a little bit of a fold here, and then, <laughs> how did I do that? I have to make it so that it goes around. So I just start a fold. Um, you can leave a hole at the top. There we go. And then we're going to end up trimming it down, okay? You need to get it as a triangle. Um, I just don't feel, I need that black in, in the front. Okay. 
you just roll it. And then this is gonna be the front of it. So I gotta get this top a little tighter. And then we're gonna glue this in here. Before my hat turned out so nice. Oh, this one will be good. It'll be cute. Thank you, Carl. I appreciate it. Happy trails. Hello, Robin. How are you, my friend? Oh, I have so many friends on here. It is such a great crafting community, I tell you. All right, so all I did was just roll that a little, and then I'm going to trim this up. Actually, I need to put that glue on there, yeah. No, I'm gonna do another one. That one, this one turned out so cute. Look at how cute this one is. I need to make it good. I need to make it good. I don't like this one. I only did it once and it worked out so good. All right, we're gonna just try this again. Um, Let's see how I did it. I know I folded it some. And then I let it go a little bit loose. This is going to drive me crazy because I did it so easy before. Do the scan. Okay. So I just fold folded this down, and then I'm just going to roll it. There we go. That's going to be better. That's better because I need that nice in the front there. And that'll make that cute point in the back. Got it, got it. Sometimes you just have to think about it. Okay, now I do have a little hole on top to be able to put the string through for hanging. And then we're gonna close that up. Now you could do other things. You could do a little pom-pom on top. You can actually stick a little raffia through there if you want. But I'm just going to take a piece of this yarn again. And stick it through. If you have wire, you could do that. But I'm just going to stick that down in there. And I take my scissor and push it out the top edge. Get pretty far down there. Get it down there. You can try and lay it in there first, but if you don't know how you're folding it, it's not going to work, but there she is. All right, and I'm just going to, I'm not even gonna tie a knot. You don't need to tie a knot if you don't want to, because I'm going to glue this now. It's gonna hold it in there. Good night, CC. Sweet dreams. All right, so let me help cute that, that topper is. We're going to just trim up this. Now you could, like I said, if you wanted to tie a knot, you could. Now we're gonna trim this. Okay. 
So that's not showing in there. Okay, our cute little hat. Okay, very easy, very easy after how many times of trying it. All right, I think I'm ready to put it all together. I'm mad about those eyes. <laughs> Let me try one more. I'm mad about them. Let me just try one more. There. I mean, these are going to be end up to be painted for some reason, for something. I just want little stick eyes. All right, that's better. I Those eyes, I like those eyes. It's a little more blush. Yeah, didn't the hat turn out cute, right? All right, all right. I think we're gonna be ready to put everything together. Um, let's do a, let's do the bow yet. Now on here, if you can't relate, this is what we're making. Instead of using this um, this bow down here, I think we're going to use this ribbon this time. All right, so we got that and that. We got him. We got the hair. That's not the good hat. All right, let's do let's do this ribbon and just see if we're gonna do that. So I'm going to do the um, the finger bow. I'm just going to wrap it around maybe a, a few times. See how big I make it. That's almost too big. That would be a good size. Okay, and if I do have a video out there how to do a uh, um, finger bowl on my YouTube channel. You can do it with a ribbon, you can do it um, with Jude, Raphia, it's just so nice because you don't have that big bulky knot in the middle. No big bulky knot. All right, let's just trim that. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, I think that'll look cute. All right. And then I said I was going to, on this one, you see I used the yellow flowers. This one I'm going to use these white ones. Which ones are cute? Those two are cute. And of course we're going to use a button, but let's just start putting together now. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, each one could absolutely have a personality, even if you don't like the eyes on them, right? All right, let's just get this stuff out of the way now. We're gonna start putting putting her together. All right, so I'm gonna start, let's see, do I wanna start with this or start with the face? We're gonna start with the hair and then we'll move the hair out of the way for the face. No, we'll put the face on first. I decided before I did the I did the hair first. Oh, we do have to do the arms yet too. Okay, see what side I like. I'm gonna do with the side. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that up on here. I actually think I had it up higher before. Let's do the arms too. So the arms I'm just using, I don't know if this is a macrame cord or what. It's some kind of string. 
I'm just gonna cut a piece. I'm gonna put that around this back part. It's I did it after again before I did it after. Um, I had it all put together and it just took a little more to do because you have to get the hair out of the way. So now I'm just going to glue this in here now already. Okay, so I've just laid it on. I'm gluing it on the back side here. So it's already on there. So some of this is easier to do before the hair, before I did it where I had the hair on first. So whatever way is gonna be easiest for you. Okay, so we got that. That's going to be arms. Okay, let's do the hair now. This was just like like a tassel. And glue this on top. Make sure it's down far enough so it's already taking on a personality, right? Okay, and then this hat is going to go on here like this. Here's the way you want it, because when you glue the hat on, that's what way it's gonna stay. Now you can do braids, you can add a little ribbon in the hair if you want, but you can just leave, leave her hair hanging down. All right. And then I just put, put some glue around down here. And let's push it down. All right, I'm going to hold it here a second. Thank you, Robin. Thanks, Sue. All right, so she's going to be cute. Okay, and you might have to add a little more glue under the hair, just that when you're hold, pulling it up like that. Um, when you're going to hang it, you might have to add a little more. Okay. So this is where, so for the flower, all I did was just join this together and cut it after. So I can see that. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue where I think I, I want it. And we'll add a flower in here right away. And I'm gonna hold it away just to get that to, to glue first, just to get the glue to dry. I knew that was gonna happen. I put my fingers right on it. Picky Allen, I missed your idea. Let me just see. Kathy said it's great. She would be fun for a craft party. Oh, absolutely she would be. And you could be the teacher. All right. Or you could come on here and I can be the teacher. Okay. So this bow is a little bit big. Let's see. I do like it though. What do you think? Do you think that bow... Do you think that bow works? You like that bow? Okay. That's real cute. That is really cute. 
Tuck that right underneath that nap. All right, we're gonna trim up this now that it's dry. Trim the arms off of here. Don't cut your flower. All right, cut that. Let's put a little flower up on the hat. Right. Let's add the wings. So we're going to part the hair in the back so that we're not getting the wings right on there. But these are our wings. We're going to glue that onto the back. We're going to right up at the top there. Let's spread that out. Or your finger. What did I miss? Or my finger? Did I, was I sticky because I was sticking in there? Oh, that's just <laughs> adorable. Just cute. Just cute. Thank you, Julie. What did I do to my finger? Did I get glue on it? Oh yeah, don't cut my finger. Do you, were you on here when I cut my hand? I cut it like right here, because I think I was cutting off a button and I had a scissor like this and I'm holding the button down on here so that it doesn't go flying. Um, and yeah, I, I cut my hand. <laughs> Look at her, look at her. All right, um, button. Thank you, Joyce. Stick on, we're doing that random act of kindness drawing in a minute. I want a cute button. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I used a really cute one like that already before, and now I'm I'll have to use this one. Thank you. Oh, somebody else cut their finger today. Oh gosh. I feel the pain. I feel the pain. And then it's so embarrassing because you gotta get up and get a band-aid or hold it with paper towel. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. Thank you, Lois, for all those hearts. Thank you. Somebody sent stars. Thank you. Oh, Jackie, I'm so glad you stayed on too. How do you choose big or little? How do you choose big or little? Because I don't, you mean, are, are you talking for the button? Is that what you're asking, Christine? Whether it's a big or little button? Your buttons are growing. Oh no, Timu, I am not broke yet. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, and I should have like a Timu Tuesday or something and, and just have order fun things from there. Seeing they're so cheap anyhow, order fun things and do a Timu Tuesday and do a reveal. Yeah, if you're asking about how I picked the button, oh, it was Leigh who did it? Oh gosh, oh no. Okay, the, the way I do is I don't want a button to take away from everything else. I want it to enhance it. Just like when I use Magnolia, I want it to enhance it. When I use my stamps, I want it to enhance it. Sometimes that's the focus. Um, but I want some things to enhance, you know, what's just so cute, you know. So I don't want a huge button to take away from everything else. Why would I want a huge button to take away from her? Look at her. Isn't she cute? What do you think? What do you think? Is this something that you'll make? 
it was so easy, right? It was so easy. And I got all these glue strings hanging down. Try and get rid of some of them. But like I said, if you use a styrofoam um, cone, then you're going to have to cover that because you can see the cone here. Um, if you use styrofoam, cover it. If you use like a, you could use a bottle. If you're going to just leave it on a shelf, use like a little bottle or something and you can do it whatever size. Um, people suggested make your own cone. Um, you, you could do absolutely do that too. But um, using this cone with this ribbon, absolutely, you can see it all the way around, but it doesn't matter. You know what would be really, really cute on here too? Ah, I'll be right back. It's just going to, it's going to help that if you, someone that is showing, I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like we're at two. Okay, if you got this, now this might this might actually look a little bit cute. Now you could even even add like a ribbon trim under here. That would be really, really cute. Um, I'm gonna just try. You know, instead of hiding it, let's enhance that a little. But like I said, you could add a really cute ribbon trim. But you could see we could just darken that up a little bit. Just the edge, make it look a little bit aged with this. I mean, why hide it if it's showing? Why hide it, right? I don't want it to show a lot, but... Just adding this on, I think is going to make it look really, really cute. I said, even a lace, a lace trim on here would be beautiful. Yeah, I think that looks sort of cute. You know, then when you see it, it doesn't look like a mistake. It looks like you did something with it. So that's something you can do. But yeah, absolutely, you could put a really cute ribbon on it. Um, some kind of cute trim. I could even take this one. Look at how cute this would be. Matching with the bow that's on here. Look at how cute that would be. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're gonna make it awesome. I'm glad that makes me happy when I see you guys want to make them. All right, we're doing this because I think this looks really, really cute. I do like it dark. I do like that that darkness. Um, if you do that. I like this. I like it. <laughs> the drinking video. <laughs> I had fun doing that. I had fun. There, look at that. What do you think of that? Do you like the with the ribbon on? Too late now, right? But doesn't that doesn't that look cute? Hello, Diane. 
Yeah, with that ribbon on. I really, really like that. Oh, awesome, Terry. I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Oh, gosh, Lisa. Yes. Birthday months, everything. There's so many things you can do. You can make them large ones. I would love to make a large one of this. Can you imagine doing a big one of this? I might do that on a live too, right? So, um, so this was the one I did earlier as a practice. And look at it with the yellow. She's just sweet. And a different bowl with the jute bowl. Just cute. And this is the one I did right now. Just cute. And I said, you could even do little ribbons in their hair, in, you know, make their hair, give them all their own personality. Like somebody said, they each could have their own personality. So, all right, should we do random act the kindness drawing? I'm just cute with the Yeah, I really like that with the ribbon on the bottom, right? Thank you, Christine. All right, let's do that random act of kindness. Call, you would call her sunflower. This one? 